everyone, my name's Nolly, and I am one of this year's Barbican Young Reviewers. This week I went to see Joyce Di Donato's War and Peace, Harmony Through Music, and this is what happened. From the moment the audience walked into the Barbican, Joyce Di Donato wanted them to be engaged. So on the tables laid out, there were letters Joyce had written to the audience. So I picked up one of these letters and here's what it says. For centuries, creators of great art have been depicting atrocity and pandemonium alongside tranquility and harmony, boldly showing us both our brutal nature and our elevated humanity. Art unifies, transcends borders, connects the disconnected, eliminates status, soothes turmoil, threatens power and the status quo, and gloriously exalts the spirit. Art is a valiant path to peace. The power to bravely tip the scales towards peace lies firmly within every single one of us. And so I ask you, in the midst of chaos, how do you find peace? As well as these letters being in the Barbican lobby, they were also on your seats. So as you sat down and waited for the performance to begin, you could read them. In a normal performance, you expect the actors not to be on stage when you arrive into the hall. But this was no ordinary performance. Joyce Di Donato was already sitting on the stage gazing at her audience. I believe that her already being on the stage was an attempt to make the audience already engaged. By there already being messages on the chairs and Joyce Di Donato already sitting on the stage, it meant that the discussion had already started before the performance. Then suddenly, the show began. The first two pieces were very violent and powerful. Joyce Di Donato used her voice in a powerful way and the lighting resembled blood. It would flash red light and distort images of the orchestra. After that abrupt and powerful start, the pieces after that were much more melancholy. Second half. The second half had a lighter mood. The lighting was bright, she was wearing a silver dress, and she was actually smiling on stage. And of course, the pieces were cheerier. Instead of talking about blood, revenge, and war, the lyrics were talking about finding peace in yourself and peace within other people. My highlight of the evening came from the second half. So, there was an orchestra playing behind Joyce Di Donato at all times. And my favourite part was when a violin player just casually brought out a recorder and started playing a beautiful recorder solo. The second half was rounded off when Joyce Di Donato scattered flowers around the stage. And that was the end to a beautiful evening. I would recommend this to anyone who loves opera because Joyce Di Donato is one of the most proclaimed opera singers in the world. Even if you don't love opera, I still think you should go and see this as it has an important message that everyone should take away with them. Inner peace is worth just as much as world peace. That's all I have for today, but I will see you next time. If you like this video, go give it a big thumbs up. And to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to the Barbican YouTube channel. Bye!